Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Fizz here. And today, I'll be showing you guys how to make mobile buttons in your game. Pretty much, I just figured out a simple way to make them easy to customize. And without further ado, let's get into that. First off, we're gonna have to make the mobile buttons. So in Startup GUI, add a screen GUI, and I'm gonna call that mobile buttons. Now, just add a frame to that screen GUI. Position that in the frame where you want all your mobile buttons to be located. You can choose to put it for the full screen, but for now I'm just going to leave it in half the screen. Then I'm just going to add a text button or an image button to that. And you can pick whatever one you want. I'm just going to put a text button because I don't have an image and name that R skill. Here I'm just going to customize the button and I'll be back after I'm done. Now let's test what happens if we click the mobile simulation button and as you can see it's not appearing. This is because the button isn't scaled up so we're just gonna have to get the plugging uh, if this thing will work. Uh, come on. Okay so you're gonna need the plugin auto scale light. I will put that in the description maybe but if it's not there just search it up on YouTube and you should find it. Just use the scale size feature and do that to all of your objects, and when you're done that, we'll continue. Now that we've done the button, just disable the starter GUI, so enable this false, and we can start the script. So let's go into starter character scripts and add a local script. I'm gonna call this script ability, and now we can get to work on the script. Here we're just gonna set up a few basic things for the ability, so the player, the character of the player, and we're going to get the humanoid of the character so that we can play an animation as an example of the button then we're just going to get the user input to detect when the player is inputting a key on the keyboard or whether he's using a button now we're just going to set up the debounce and the cooldown for our button so we're just using this as a R skill for now and here i'm just going to do the keyboard version so i'm going to just time lapse this and be back so now we're going to quickly get the mobile buttons so user if user input dot touch enabled then now we need to get the player gui so local player gui equals player dot player gui now we're going to get the mobile buttons so player gui colon with child mobile buttons and now we can get the mobile frame and the R skill and check if it's been clicked by checking mouse up one one down. Now in there we can pretty much just copy that because it's checking the debounce and we can copy that as well. Now we just need to add the animation since we added an animation in that so let's set that up. Just gonna get a random animation like this katana animation from GPO and just paste that in there for now. So pretty much now if we test the game Normally, if we press R, the animation will work. And also, when we're on mobile, it should work as well. Oops, looks like there's a small error. So we just go back in the script. It's actually that we didn't make it enabled. So just make it so the mobile button's enabled true, and it will appear. When we click on the button, then the action will play. So that's how you make mobile buttons. And I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new out of it. So make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Fizz out.